What's up? Here we are, just a, a couple days out from a world title fight. Give me the idea. What's, what's the feelings like inside of you right now? I'm super excited and uh, been waiting for so long. <laughs> you know, November, December, maybe January. We're finally here. I'm very excited. I'm super happy to be here. But still a lot of work to do, you know, a lot of media, a lot of a lot of media. I'm not a complainer. I'm doing everything at all my best. But a lot of media uh, still got to train, still work to do. I still study a lot, seeing a lot of things, strategies that already on my head, things that I want to do. But it's still a lot of work to do, and I hope everything still going on, you know, and then we make that fight happen on Saturday. I was going to say, is that, does that little worry in the back of your mind just a little bit after everything you've gone through? Yeah, yeah, it's still like first time here in Vegas wasn't the best time. Uh, got COVID, had to drive back, but one before was great because it was the title of the fight. So I have good good memories here, more than bad memories. And uh, but still, I, I gotta live by the hour, by the day, you know, make sure everything goes as planned. And uh, but yeah, still have little things I can't wait to to come Friday, make that way. You know, face off and come Saturday night. I'm 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 excited. I'm making the days count, counting the hours, and very excited. You know what the storyline is here, man. The former training partners that have worked together. But I mean, realistically, tell us. I mean, is there much of a, a psychological edge or a tactical edge that either one of you might have based on your experience together? Uh, not really. We 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 had a lot of wars together. Can I? He can say, oh, I beat him a couple rounds. But I say, yeah, but I beat you a couple rounds, too. So it's kind of very even, the advantage that we have knowing each other's game. The thing that I believe I, I got advantage is the teammates because he left the team. And all the teammates that helped me get him prepared for him know him very well. And every single one of them, like, oh, he does this good. Watch out here. Oh, he, he, you're going to hit him with that one. So that that. Feedback from the from my teammates was very good. From the coaches as well, was very different. If it was just me and Kamaru, yeah, 50-50. I know him; he knows me. But the difference with the teammates and the coach, yeah, that that gave me a little advantage. I see. Yeah, it's an interesting point. Um, of course, you were you know a week out from fighting him back in July, so I'm curious in getting ready this time. Did you change anything in terms of either how you prepared or your game plan? Or is it pretty much just, hey, man, we, we had the right plan. We just, we just got to do that again. I kind of follow a lot of the plan that I had. But uh, for sure, I had a lot of more traps. You know, I have a lot of more time to see. I saw the Masvidal fight. I saw a lot of things that I could use. I do believe he's going to come with little new things. You know, not a lot of things, but a couple of new things. Travel with me. It's... He's known as a good coach. I believe more as a boxing stance. So his hand might be a little bit sharper, but the plan is the same. Every time that I go to the octagon, I don't want to just hold the guy. I don't want to just hang. I don't want to buy time. I want to finish the guy. And that's what I'm looking for. I, the way I see that fight's going, or I'm going to knock him out, or I'm going to submit him. And, and that was the strategy on the first time. Now I have more time to plan, to prepare, to get better, get got very strong to that division right now. We're still in my speed, and uh, I, I believe I'm, I'm going to bring a lot of danger to this fight. What was it like for you watching the Masvidal fight? I mean, was that torture, or were you scouting? I mean, what, what was the feeling like? Yeah, that was painful, I think. The two painful moments that I had on 2020 was Hunter called me, saying they got positive, and they sending the guys to test me again. And after a couple of hours, he confirmed that I was positive again and all my coaches were positive. That was the, the worst news. And the second one was when Max Holloway fight was over and I saw Masvidal walking in instead of me. That was, that, that hurt me a lot, you know. That was like, man, it's supposed to be me there right now. And then saw Kamara getting freaking tired after the first round and I was just like, man. And then I had a couple of whys. I was like, why? Like, why? But it turned out that I got the fight. I got a lot of more time to get stronger, to get prepared, to get ready. And uh, I do believe that right now I'm in a way better 
it, it, the Gilbert Burn is in February is way better than Gilbert Burn was last July. So it, it, it's okay. It is what it is. I think everything happened for a reason. I still don't know the reason. One day I will know the reason, but I do. I do believe it was for the better, and I believe in a, on a better shape right now. Stylistically, it's a, it's a super interesting fight, right? So I'm curious. I mean. Do you think he'll wrestle with you? Do you think he'll be willing to, to try? I mean, that's such a great part of his game, but it would seem like a very risky move against you. So do you think he'll wrestle? I hope so. And I do think we're going to wrestle. We're going to grapple. We're gonna, you're going to the cage. You're going to strike. I don't think he's afraid of me. I'm not afraid of him either. And it's going to be a battle, and I'm looking forward to it. But I do hope we grapple a lot and we wrestle. I want to wrestle. He's a wrestler. wrestle. I want to wrestle with him. The last thing for me, I mean, we think about your beginning, right? Your dad, you know, exchanging for, for, for Brazilian jiu-jitsu lessons, and now you're here fighting for a UFC world title. What would it mean to you and, and to your family for you to get this world title? Well, I mean, the word for me will be a confirmation of my parents, my dad, making the, the tough – but the right decisions on the right time and me conquering that UFC world title will mean a lot. And then I got it. The, the way I see, I said that multiple times, not only for me, you know, it's for me for sure because I do what I love. I do what I want. I, I want to be the champion. I don't have to be, but I want it to be. Yeah. And uh, I do that for me first because I, I like to fight. I love to fight. That's what I love to be is inside the octagon. But I do for my family as well, for my team, for the whole Brazilian fans, the Brazilian nation. They, they're suffering so much right now with COVID as the rest of the world. And I want to be a good hope for these guys, you know. See, they know from, from my beginnings, from where I came from, you know. And I'm here right now on that big stage. So I want to show to everyone in Brazil that if I made it, you know, they can make it too because... It wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. I had a lot of ups and downs, but it wasn't ever impossible. I, I always believed in myself. I had a lot of good mentors on, on my, you know, my whole journey, on my whole career. I have a great coach, got great fighters behind me, great, a lot of great person, and I, and I made it, you know. And then I just want to make that very clear in Brazil because if I could make, why not, you know? And then I want to be that big hope from Brazil and. It's not only for me, for sure it's for me, but it's for a lot of more people. So it means the world for me to, to be able to give it back for my parents and for a lot of person in Brazil. So I'm very looking for I'm super hungry. Hope everything goes okay these couple next days and Saturday night you guys see a new a new king, a new champion. Gilbert, over here. In in your mind, why did you think this fight took so long to happen? A lot of things happened in between, to be honest. The first thing that, that, that my manager, Ali Abdelaziz, in the UFC approached me was for November, November 21st. And I heard, not sure, that Kamaru needs to do a, a steam cell, he needs to get better. So, and then they said, oh, December 12th. But then I know a lot of guys that he trains with in Florida, and the guy said, oh, he's saying he's not fighting December, even before. The UFC confirmed that they said, oh, he's, he's not fighting. He, he's training, but he's not training, you know. And I kind of knew, I said, man, it's not going to be December. And then I was just like, Phew. and then they said January. And then, but then I heard Connor ask for that, that date on January. So it ended up being February. So I don't think he was physically ready. And I know him pretty well. I know he, Kamaru Usman gets so many injuries that he needs to take care and a Conor McGregor fight, so I think, I don't think he was avoiding me, but I think it was, you know, a lot of things that was happening. He, uh, he left your team and, and, and your former coaches, and he's been pretty cool about it, but he recently started saying, oh, I, I need to show the junior guy that he can't beat the varsity guy, and these coaches are telling him that he can beat me, and he, he can't really. Do you think maybe, as the fight's getting closer, he's starting to get a little bit annoyed about the situation? To be honest with you, I don't care what, what he feels, uh, but I do believe he's he's a little, you know, he, he still has a little feelings with the coach, with everything. And I, 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 I just hope they, they, you know, they close that capture, they, that, they close that, that phase of their life good, you know, the coach end up good and he's been good, be helped. Happy with with his you know with his choice and 
it is what it is. I, I think he's a little bit like, you know, when you finish that relationship and you're not in peace. I do believe he's a little bit on that stage, but I hope they finally close that capture and, and go to the next one, you know. I, I, like you just said, you want them to be better off, but yes. in part of you, does that not think, well, maybe there's an advantage for me if he looks in my corner and sees his old coaches, hey, I could have just that little percent, percent uh, advantage. To be honest, as soon as you get right there in the octagon close, uh, he's a champion for a reason. I do believe he's very strong mentally, so do I. And I think it's going to be a lot of mental battle, and I'm looking forward so much to that. And uh, I don't, I don't think that's going to play a little, a little. Uh, I don't think that's going to play too much on on his, against him, you know. But I just do believe when you got a deep down, dig deep in that fight, when because I do believe we're going to hit the wall by third, third, second round, maybe third round, we're going to hit that wall. I will, and he will too. And uh, if you watch a lot of fights, the Kobe Covington fight, and a lot of fights, he hit that wall sometimes in the beginning. And then if you saw, he was with the open eyes looking at the coach. And Henry was the one, hey, you're doing good, relax. You know, keep doing what you're doing. But Henry's not going to be there this time, not for him, not for me. So let's see who's going to dig, very dig deep and, and see who really wants. Because I'm, I'm freaking hungry right here. I want to win that title, whatever it takes. I said multiple times, whatever it takes, I'm willing to die right there. I want to become a champion. It's not, I don't have to, but I want to. And we we'll see when, when it's time to dig. He said multiple times he can dig so deep. So let's dig. I'm ready to. I know you said it was even most of the time in your sparring, but if there's one thing you can remember that you can take away being like, I know in this area I haven't beat from those spars together, what is it? I know I can submit him anywhere, anytime, in the bottom, on the top. In the case, anywhere he knows he can submit him. He's, he might, he, he might watch out for this because he knows. He, he, like he said, oh, people know who's gonna win. He said, yeah, they know. Yeah, he knows. He knows you. Last thing for me, you just mentioned about all the media stuff. Seeing how nervous you are about this fight actually happening, is it talking about it making it worse? That every day you're going, oh my god. To be honest, I like it. here right now. I like your guys' question, but. Couple questions was just same questions, the same questions, same questions, and they hang up with one guy and they come to the next guy and they they do exactly the same questions and I was just like that was a little annoying, but I try to you know I I like to show a little bit my personality, I, I you know my my who I am, my training. I just try to to still even sometimes I get a little annoying with a couple questions, not yours exactly, but. I'm still trying to, you know, give the best out of me, you know. Well, if you become champion, you're going to get asked annoying questions like every week, so. I, I cannot wait for that. <laughs> Gilbert over here. And if you heard this question already, I'm sorry. <laughs> you're good. <laughs> um, your head coach, he said he's not going to coach you because uh, his relationship with him. I mean, you're the one who stayed with your team. Yeah. Does it bother you that he's not going to be here for you? No, and I really understand, you know, when you coach... Think about you as a coach or as a mentor or, I don't know, as a father. And you make one guy so good and then you make the other guy too. They both fighting like your two kids fighting or your two best students fighting. I don't know if I, if I would coach anyone. I would just like, you know, you guys go out there and resolve that. And then he make that super clear for me. I really love Harry and I respect him so much. And... Uh, I'm, I just, I respect him a lot, you know, and then I, even in the beginning, I say, hey, you know how much I love you, how much I support you, it's up to you. If you're if not feeling good, I'm okay with it, and and that was his decision, but we're still training together every single day, and, the, and I understand his decision, and I always respect him, you know. There's a lot going on at welterweight, a lot of big fights, a lot of guys at the top with a case for a title shot. If you become champion, suddenly this is your conversation now. Who do you think would be next for the title? When I become a champion, no one's safe in that division. They better keep fighting. They, kept, they better keep busy because if they're not busy, I'm not fighting with, with those guys. You know, Those guys make one fight a year and one, oh, I'm number five, and they want to hold that position forever. They're not fighting. But if they stay busy, they stay there, no one's safe. I'm fighting any one of the, the top five right there, I think. 
the most guys that deserve him as of right now might be Leon Edwards with a win over Kamzat Maev and Kobe Covington right there too. But they got to stay busy. And like I said, no one's safe. I love to fight. Don't think, oh, I'm going to get the belt and I'm going to chill. No, as soon as I get that belt, <laughs> I don't know when because, you know, those – now I understand those guys because those five rounds camp are not easy. Not easy. Three rounds camp is a different. But five rounds camp, those, those are tough ones. And then I'm on the middle and a couple guys coming. Beginning of the camp, we're doing seven, six minute rounds, seven, 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 seven minute rounds is not easy. So for sure my body needs a little, I need a little rest. I need to spend a little time with my family. But when I say a little time, it's like two, three weeks. It's not like three months, five months. No, it's two, three weeks. But I'm looking forward to to come back as soon as I can. We say June, July to to, to defend again. Then another one at the end of the year. I'm going to be a busy one. I love, I love to fight. I love what I do. I'm 34 years old. I do believe I'm very healthy. I don't have no surgeries on my body. I'm pretty, pretty healthy. I might be... Five more years on me, let's say four to five, no more than five, but four to five, and I want to fight all the best guys in the world, and I'm going to stay busy. So me winning that title, all the top 15, you guys not safe because I'm going to give a shot to any anyone that is in the position they're going to fight and line them up. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. Thank you.